Ooh, good morning from a hot afternoon here in Bali today off on a road trip. Not sure where I'm going with some people. I'm hoping that they all know where we're going. I'm not sure how much I'm going to film though. Uh, as you guys know, everyone's like, be careful filming. It's not always me filming. I'm with people and they can film as well. Um, but off on a road trip. Wanted to start it off here so you at least know like, Luke, how'd you get there? You know, it's, it's part of the story. Okay, so right now arrived in a place kind of going to like Sanur, this direction, but actually we, I just, I don't know, went a little bit off the path, not by the touristy places, and just found this like random beach here. And if you guys can see, it's like almost like three different colors with an, I'm guessing an island over there and realizing, leaving Shangu that, man, you guys are right. Everyone in the comments, there's so much to see here on this island. This is literally just a pit stop on the way to the place we were going. But, wow. But kind of like I say, this is kind of just like a pit stop. Uh, but one thing I do notice, first of all, black sand. But also, there is a lot of trash in the water. I've heard a lot about, there are beautiful beaches and don't get me wrong, some of the water is super clear. But I'm realizing the reality of a lot of the places and, and almost in the, more so in the touristy places is that there's like, can you see that beach over there in the water here? And it's no offense to anything or anyone, but it's just one thing I'm noticing. It does look amazing. And I feel like a lot of people take photos of that. But when you're actually here and see the reality of, oh, you left out kind of this part right here. Doesn't take away from the beauty that much. And I do see people from time to time coming to pick up all the stuff picking up trash and I actually I actually saw a sign up here that said no plastics I want to say I saw a sign right here talking about plastic but I will say that as you're walking you do see at least in the tourist sections a lot of trash on some of the beaches but I mean still that is pretty yeah but now we are actually heading over there to Sanur which is just right over there okay so finally made it here to Sanur Beach it's packed full of bikes. But, but the view here. No, thank you. Check this out. Goodness. And I've been kind of on the southern part of the island for a long time and I've just been seeing black sand as you guys seen here. But being here in Samnur, it's a totally different vibe here. This is, I mean, the beach is like, it's crazy. And, and as I told you guys before, like a lot of the beaches, there's a lot of, of, of plastic, there's a lot of trash on a lot of the beaches, especially the touristy parts. But here it's like a whole kind of different level. It's like, uh, I would never guess, this is what you'd see in the photos. Whereas where I've been and seen the kind of reality is not like this at all. But I mean, what do I even, I, I don't even know what to, I don't even know what to say. I'm literally speechless. Right now kind of in this marketplace i don't know what it is but it's not as full as i thought it would be here i thought we'd pack full of tourists maybe it's just the time of year or the day or something like that but it's super 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 chill right now indonesia i've been trying not to say it because i know it's offensive to a lot of places but Indonesia might be the most amazing, magical place I've ever seen in my life. When you take into consideration the nature, the sea, the beach, the people, I mean, <laughs> kind of everything. It's just, I mean, see for yourself. It speaks for itself. I'm 
not sure how it looks to you guys, but here is like Sanur, I think it's the name of it. It's, I don't know, there's like no one really here. So it's like you have this beautiful beach where you think it'll be packed full of people, but it's like super chill. I mean, I almost don't even know what to say. I feel like walking through places like this, trying to show you guys just with the music, the emotions I feel as I'm walking. center I'm really literally just staying on the beach area it's I don't know I don't know what to say like Bali's one place that's left me speechless where it's like I'm walking around but so much stuff is just silent like even when I'm with a lot of people so many times we're just walking around but it's just literally just taking in this right here kind of ignoring the seaweed and trash and just kind of like right now having kind of local food on the beach and I would say the price the average price for this this was about about two dollars the meal which is vegetables rice and I'm waiting for mashed potatoes and fries I'd say about five about five six dollars for the meal view priceless so definitely come over here this place is definitely nice. Not what I expected. I thought there'd be a lot of tourists here in this place, but I guess all the tourists come here to get on the the, the, um, the ferry to go to the island, if you guys can see over there. So, yeah. Brings us back to here, here in Sanir, Sanir. I, I didn't even know about this place if it wasn't for other people telling me about it, which is why one of the reasons why for me, when I get to a place, it's more about going around and meeting people. Because for me, it's not Googling top 10 places to go. It's me meeting 10 people and asking them what their favorite places was. It's just kind of how I do traveling most of the time. But uh, yeah, here in uh, Sanir, and I, I know I'm saying the name totally wrong. Um, I'm realizing here by this sign, going down that way gets a little bit more moldy though, though, and seaweed and everything. But going on that way, the beach is actually like really nice and kind of was one of those chill days and just wanted to kind of bring you guys along and show you guys a different beach outside of the Shangu Seminyak uh, area of here in Bali. And yeah, it felt good to be away. It felt good to, especially with the views and everything. Um, and, I get, and, and I guess for me, it's more of like realizing that Indonesia just has endless beauty, no matter what you do, whether you're riding, just going to the store, or just riding for 10 minutes, you're bound to see rice fields, palm trees, people selling coconuts, all that kind of stuff. Um, but I guess on that note, we're going to meet up with my rest of the people that are waiting for me behind the camera right now. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, and come check this place out. Just Bali, Indonesia as a whole, you'll be shocked, you'll enjoy it, I guarantee it. And on that note, I'll speak to you guys all later, and everyone always remember to work hard, be brave, and don't forget to smile. Ciao. and trying to figure out what to do today. I have no idea, it's weird. The hard part is finding places with air conditioning. I'm gonna overcome it. The vlog will not end here. You're good, man. Yes, bro. <laughs> hey, what's something people should know about why should they come to Bali? Futu. speeding up, he's making it really fast. <laughs>